everybody. Brian from Colorado Agricultures here. As you can see, we're in our lab. Usually I don't get to see in here, but we figure we bring you in and show you how we actually draw up in colonized liquid culture jar. This guy was done seven days ago. And you can see how nice and thick that is. I've had that actually rotating on my stir plate for about five minutes to break everything up nice and good. But you can see there's no bubbles. Definitely want to avoid any foam on top, so don't be too aggressive with the stir plate. But right after that, we're going to put it in front of our flow hood. I want to make sure it's nice and clean. So make sure my pork is clean. And then when I'm getting everything ready, so always put a mask on when you have facial hair, as you can see. Make sure you have your gloves on. I'm gonna mist my hands. Rub them with alcohol, like we always do. And it's a 99% alcohol. All right, so we're gonna take one of our clean 16 gauge needles. I'm gonna take one of our 10 milliliter syringes and I'm gonna show you how to make 30 syringes using one needle. So I'm sure you all seen those lids with those fancy straws and everything. So this is our answer to that. So we just kind of mix it up. We're gonna draw it to the 10 mark. Hold the needle, twist the syringe. I'm gonna cap up the syringe just like that. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that until it's all done. Now, let's say you're doing this and you have an emergency in your lab and you have to go and do something. Well, you can see you have an open hole here. You can basically just take one of your syringes, put it on there, go do what you need to do, come back, get clean again, and get right back to work. That way, you're not wasting your time or you're wasting any products. We're just gonna keep on doing that so we get all of this liquid out of here. Should be anywhere from 25 to 30 syringes. And we just put them down there, make sure to label them afterwards. And you can see this is Ski Bum. And this is one of our pint sterilized liquid culture plus jars that is colonized for seven days, aerated for 30 seconds once a day. So that's how quick you can make liquid cultures and expand your favorite mushroom. So next time you need some cultures, Come on over to Colorado Cultures, get yourself a syringe, get yourself a jar, make sure you expand it. That way you get your money's worth and you can find out what that mushroom really likes. Hey everybody, and don't forget to get your little flow hood rack here at Colorado Cultures. We sell these guys for $14.99. They're really good when it comes to having a flow hood. As you can see, put you right in the middle of your work area. It has little holes that you can actually put all your stuff, like your punch, put some scissors, you can put your syringes there. So remember, next time you're at Colorado Cultures, look, about, look for all the cool little lab things we have around the store. We'll see you soon, much love.